Welcome students. In this lesson of our changing earth, we will get to know about another manifestation of endogenic forces in form of sudden and violent movement, that is earthquakes. The newspaper headlines have made it clear to you that earthquakes are one of the most destructive of nature's fury. There is loss of life and property on account of earthquakes. You all must be remembering about the earthquake that took place in Nepal in the year 2015. So many people were killed, 9,000 precisely as you saw in the newspaper's headline. 22,000 people were injured and many more became homeless. Many World Heritage sites were also destructed on account of this earthquake. It had caused huge havoc shaking the entire state of Nepal as well as the northern states of West Bengal. If you look at the case study provided in your books, you will see on the 26th of January 2001, an earthquake of 6.9 magnitude on the richer scale had struck the city of Bhuj in Kutch in Gujarat. It was the Republic Day. Students had gathered in the school campus. 971 students lost their lives and 31 teachers lost their lives due to the collapse of the school building. Apart from there, there was huge havoc in the entire city of Wuj. So all these examples must have made it clear to you that earthquakes are one of the most violent and destructive of nature's fury. What is an earthquake? An earthquake is a sudden vibration or a violent tremor that is felt on the surface of the earth due to tectonic movements. You remember we studied about tectonic plates in the previous lessons. When two plates are moving close to each other, converging, you remember I told you there is friction at the point of convergence. As a result, there will be a tremor on this junction areas. The areas on both sides of the place will experience tremor. That is an earthquake. When two lithospheric plates are diverging from each other also, some amount of vibration may be felt on the surface of the plates resulting in earthquake. The third case is when two plates are sliding past each other. So there is lot of friction at the junction of the plates where they are sliding. That areas are also experiencing tremors or vibrations that is an earthquake. So earthquakes are sudden vibrations or violent tremors felt on the surface of the earth on account of internal forces that is endogenic forces. Now let us look at the structure of the earthquake. Whenever you hear about an earthquake, you often get to know about terms like the epicenter of the earthquake was in Kathmandu, the epicenter of the earthquake was in Manipur, Imphal. So what are these particular points? Take a look at this diagram. The point of origin of the earthquake is termed as the focus, that is the tremor or the vibrations originate at this point focus in form of seismic movement or seismic waves. The point immediately above the focus 
on the surface of the earth is the epicenter. The maximum amount of vibration or tremor on account of the seismic waves are felt at this point which is called the epicenter. From the focus, the seismic waves travel in form of longitudinal and diagonal waves which may be called primary and secondary waves to reach the surface of the earth. From the epicenter gradually as we travel outwards the intensity of the tremor felt decreases. So focus point of origin of the earthquake epicenter surface the point on the epi the point on surface of the earth directly above the focus where the earthquake tremor is felt. Maximum amount of damage caused by the earthquake is at the epicenter and regions around it. As we travel away from the epicenter, the intensity of the quake decreases. Now when we talk about earthquake, Another thing we usually mention is the magnitude of the earthquake. If you remember the headlines, you must have seen the earthquake that occurred in 2017 in Philippines had a magnitude of 6.5, while the one that occurred in Nepal had a magnitude of 7.8. Where did you see? the maximum amount of damage at the place where the magnitude was 7.8. So greater the magnitude of the earthquake, the greater the damage or destruction at that particular place and in the regions around it. When studying about earthquakes, again I mentioned about seismic waves. What are seismic waves? They are the vibrations or tremors felt during the occurrence of an earthquake. The first kind of earthquake waves or seismic waves is the P wave or the primary wave. The primary waves are longitudinal and compressional in nature. As a result, they either push or pull the object through which it is passing and it can pass through solid as well as liquid objects. The next wave that arrives at the seismic station is the secondary wave or the transverse waves. The secondary waves shake the ground up and down. Now both primary and secondary waves, they origin within the interior of the earth and they pass through the layers of the earth's interior. As a result, they are called as body waves also. On the surface, when the seismic energy arrives at the epicenter, the seismic energy travels in form of surface waves. Surface waves are like ripples on the water. So, from the epicenter they spread out in circles round that particular epicenter. The surface waves are the cause behind the maximum destruction that is caused during an earthquake. Now how do we know about the earthquake? There is a special branch of study called seismography which deals with the study of earthquakes. Seismologists are earth scientists who study about the quake. The tremors of the earthquake are studied in terms of graphical representation of the tremor that is the seismic waves. The instrument that graphically records the occurrence of this earthquake in form of the seismic waves is termed as a seismograph. 
द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द अर्थक्वेक इज मेजर्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ अ स्केल विच इज कॉल्ड द रिच स्केल अ रिच स्केल हैज अ मैग्नीट्यूड फ्रॉम जीरो टू नाइन प्लस द वंस अर्थक्वेक्स विच हैव अ मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ जीरो टू टू आर हार्डली फेल्ट द वंस which have a magnitude of above 6 are usually major earthquakes the ones with a magnitude above 7 are the destructive earthquakes till now the highest magnitude that has been recorded during an earthquake is 9.5 in chile in the year 1960 it had a magnitude of 9.5 nearly so you can understand the amount of havoc it must have caused what happened just now it seemed the earth vibrated is an earthquake taking place the first thing that i should do is not to panic if i am inside a classroom or in a study i can take shelter under the table to save myself from falling objects if we are in a multi storied building we should go downstairs to avoid after shocks but never take a lift during an earthquake run down the stairs but be careful stay away from glass windows mirrors or any object made of glass for example photo frames are also included along with the mirrors and the windows never go near the fire when an earthquake is taking place you can inform your friends regarding the earthquake and most of all face the disaster confidently so that lesser damage is caused by the earthquake so this brings us to the end of the lesson on earthquakes what are earthquakes earthquakes are sudden vibrations or violent tremors felt on the surface of the earth due to internal movements we learnt about the focus and epicenter of the earthquake we also learnt about the richter scale which tells us about the magnitude of the earthquake and helps us determine the amount of damage that can be caused due to it next we learned about precautionary measures we can take when we are caught in middle of an earthquake that's all for today students in our next lesson we will go on to know about another section of the endogenic forces that is when they are manifested in form of slow movements that is diastrophic forces